लगते ही नहीं है नहीं है मैं बिल्कुल बोलती हूँ स्पेशल नहीं है दैट्स रियली ग्रेट वन इज ए बायोलॉजिकल डॉटर एंड इलेवन आर माई फॉस्ट केस failure for a woman for taking her identity from her men we need women to have their own identity and for this not taking any action isn't an option sometimes you just need a little inspiration i dr shweta singh welcome you all to this podcast who is she an exciting journey of knowing the real she we all are curious about the world and want to make it a better place this is our little initiative for making it the best place for women here we will have women from all across the globe women who are entrepreneur women who are politician who are athletes who are social worker or women who are mompreneurs or the homepreneurs and most importantly women who are at the table when the decisions are being made For today's podcast, we have a very special guest with us, Miss Gayatri Vatsalya, President of SVK Sikshan Sansthan Nagpur. Miss Gayatri is foster mother of eleven very special and highly talented, differently able children. Miss Gayatri is creating awareness and sensitizing the society about the need of an inclusive society. I would like to welcome our guest today, Miss Gayatri Vatsalya. and i'm very much thankful to her that she has accepted our uh, uh, request and she came here for the podcast today before we start i would like to congratulate you gayatri and i was reading your story and i was totally uh, it, it it's like commendable job you are doing and i was totally shaken by by reading your story and because today we are talking about creating our own identity as a woman and you are uh, i would say not talking about your identity but you are you are helping out those differently able kid to create their identity and i know that not everyone can focus only on the strength of these especially able children so thank you so much for doing this commendable work and if i think i i think gayatri that how to start this podcast today the first very thing which comes in my mind is you let us know about your life journey that how you started and uh, something about yourself so that uh, the women who are today listening this podcast should be inspired enough to start something new thank you so much dr shweta for uh, all the good words and it's a great pleasure for me as well to be here with you and share my experiences behind this svk section sansta uh, and the idea in fact to work for intellectually challenged adults it's a wonderful platform given to me thank you so much once again uh, if you ask me as a person how i am i can say that i am a very cheerful light hearted uh, easy go person i can i mean and a strong woman and uh, definitely uh, a very happy uh, soulmate or life partner of a very supportive husband dr uh, venkatramna and a very lucky mother of 12 kids one is a biological daughter and 11 are my foster kids so this is what if you want to talk about gayatri this is what gayatri is gayatri vatsalya thank you so much gayatri ji you have explained so well that uh, in not less than 1 minute also you have explained who gayatri is and so wonderfully because it takes uh, i think 4 5 pages sometimes to people to explain wh- who are they but it's so wonderful and so sweet that you you so simply you have explained that gayatri one thing which uh, i i would like personally would like to know that uh, there is a social venture of yours which is called yummy grains so can you tell us that what yummy grain is and what yummy grain uh, intend to do what's the vision of yummy grain so yummy grains is a social venture started by me uh, maybe around 4 years ago under yummy grains we have three products what one, one is a uh, protein one is millet magic and one is this yummy grain yummy grain uh, is a flour 
it's a 21 grain flour we make. In fact, uh, the basic reason behind starting this yummy grain is provide employment opportunities to intellectually challenged adults. So that is the basic kind. Then I found these intellectually challenged adults are good at certain skills. So I thought their skills can be used here and they can be given good uh, employment so that they can earn well and lead a dignified life like you and me, all of us. So that is the basic idea. And the yummy grains, as I said, we use 21 different grains to make this flour. और इस grains को sort करके, साफ करके, आटा बना के, pack करके, weigh करके, उसके ऊपर label करना and then machine use करके seal करना. The entire process is done by intellectually challenged employees of this yummy grains. So and second product is protein. Under this protein, uh, we make uh, uh, you know uh, detox teas using uh, absolutely natural uh, moringa leaves that is drumstick leaves. So we have seven uh, different flavors and this moringa is uh, I mean, has 95 plus antioxidants. So again this tea is manufactured and labeled sealed by these intellectually challenged employees. And third is millet magic under which we do hear a lot of gluten free food these days. So all the millets are gluten free. So we uh, procure them from certain villages of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. And then uh, packing, labeling, sealing is done by these intellectually challenged adults. Other than these three products, we do have another venture called Art Therapy, which is hand block printing unit. So these, my 11 uh, foster kids are trained with hand block printing skills. So they produce or create more than 55 items like serving trays, tea coasters, jewelry boxes and apparel like you know uh, kurtas and dress material and uh, dupattas and uh, even household items like cushion covers, dining table runners and uh, bed sheets and many other things. So they do themselves the hand block printing but they're trained and uh, they are excellent at these jobs. So these are the ventures I created to provide employment opportunities for these intellectually challenged, uh, highly capable adults, I can say. Great, great Gayatri. Actually, uh, we talk about uh, eating organic foods and eating multigrain atas. Itti sari baat hoti hai aur itna sara uh, discussion hota hai and people are more into it that we should go for uh, yes. not the white rice but, but, but brown rice, multigrain uh, atta we should yeah. use, flour you sh we should use. I'm basically a food blogger as well. I have my own uh, uh, food blog called Food Therapy. So I keep posting uh, the recipes and all healthy recipes and I one of my uh, you know hobbies I can say is fusion cooking oh so great. Uh, yes <laughs> so great so I, I'll, I'll be the first person then visiting your food blogging uh... you're most welcome you're most welcome I'll share the link uh, I would also request all the viewers who are actually seeing uh, today's podcast to go on the yummy grain and on also on your food blogging because this is something because health is wealth and if we are wealthy yes, by yes, health exactly. the mind will yeah. work like anything so and that that's that that's the thing uh, the, because of which you have so positive vibes and so positive energy to support those kids so uh, is there uh, was there any incident or any event which led you to open this NGO and start helping these kids yeah, exactly. There are two very strong reasons. Uh, basically, I'm a trained clinical psychologist. So uh, I did my entire education in psychology right from graduation to uh, three uh, post-graduation courses or my MPhil. Everything is around clinical psychology and special education. So recently also, I'll you know, I try to update myself with the, uh, you know, uh, various methods to handle these intellectually challenged people. So that's how I came into this profession with 25 years of experience. So when I was uh, working with few schools of Nagpur as a visiting counselor, 
so i found some students uh, who got admission uh, into these schools but later the school authorities found they have some uh, problems so they can't keep these students in the so called normal schools so then i took the initiative and somehow i was instrumental in making inclusion a part of these uh, some of these uh, cbsc schools of nagpur so i created individualized education plans for these kids because socialization is a must so uh, usually people feel that ki if they are uh, you know special kids why should they attend the normal school so called normal school they should be sent to a special school i agree but see depending upon the student or uh, the child's uh, uh, what i can say is uh, uh, capability we need to recommend you just cannot generalize that ki if the student is diagnosed with mental retardation he had to spend i mean sent to a special school it's not like that so every individual is unique you first have to understand his or her needs then to be sent to a school wherever he or she is needed so wh- what i found was the students like accidentally got admission into these schools were absolutely fit to study in these so called normal schools so then we started a different uh, individualized education plan with the support of a special educators and sometimes we even allowed the parent especially mothers to be with the child in the classroom for some time so that the teacher can smoothly uh, address the I mean uh, teach the whole class and after this they used to come to the special rooms and uh, follow the special education methods this was happening and i was instrumental uh, and i was associated with three cbsc schools of nagpur so this was happening in all these schools so one day uh, one, i mean i don't want to mention uh, the name of the school the principal very supportive principal because of her i could uh, uh, start a specialized resource room over there and cater to 35 differently able children including autistic and mentally retarded and cerebral palsy and many other diagnoses so she called me and she said there is a parent with a complaint matsalya you please come down and handle this man so i went running over there and i was little worried what had might have happened then this father who is highly educated in law and a leading practitioner of nagpo was there he is very well known to most of the nagpur people so he after seeing me like you know he was fuming and he was asking me madam aap aise kaise kar sakte hain aise bachchon ko yahan hamari normal school mein kyun rakhe hain unke liye alag school se aap unko waha bhi bhej sakte hain then i very politely asked him sir like you know kuch dikkat hui kya kuch problem hua kya ye jo aap bol rahe hain ki matlab kuch problem hua hoga He said, नहीं प्रॉब्लम मतलब बहुत सारे हैं और जहां मेरा बेटा जिस क्लास में मेरा बेटा पढ़ता है वहां ऐसा बच्चा एक है जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दट वर्ड ऐसा बच्चा एक है I said, क्यों सर मतलब आपकी बच्चा का क्लास में अगर ये है तो उसने आपका बच्चा को कुछ किया क्या एंड डॉक्टर श्वेता आई एम जस्ट आउट ऑफ दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन आई एम शेयरिंग आई हैव ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस फील्ड i have never seen a single child who is diagnosed with these as i said special children doing harm or hitting or you know jagda karna baki bachchon i have never seen in my entire 25 years of career they never do that it's our perception very wrong perception about them so i asked the father i said kuch hua kya jagda vagda aisa kuch नो नो वो जो प्ले ग्राउंड है वहां पर मेरा बेटा का के साथ वो आज टिफिन देने आया मैं तो बेटा के साथ खेलते हुए मुझे दिखा इट्स ए गुड थिंग अगर आपका बेटा और वो लड़का प्यार से खेल रहे हैं तो इट्स ए गुड थिंग यू शुड अप्रिशिएट नहीं नहीं वो मेरा बेटा को टच कर रहा अगर उसका बीमारी मेरा बेटा को लग गया तो हु विल बी रेस्पॉन्सिबल आप जिम्मेदारी लेंगे क्या just imagine i really totally got shocked how can a very educated man talk like this it's ignorance sheer ignorance education has nothing to do with all this people should be uh, sensitized with these issues sabse pehle acceptance acceptance se bhi pehle understand the issue 
that is more important and then acceptance so tabhi i decided i need to do something especially on the sensitization part nagpur has many special schools around 35 special schools who are doing excellent job but the issue is we need to sensitize the society the so called general public about these intellectually challenged kids and adults and slowly inculcate a habit of acceptance which we call inclusion so this is how i decided and in 2007 i registered this svk shikshan sanstha with the sole motto of conducting various sensitization programs i did for almost a year but as i said that time uh, you know my family needed more of my time my daughter was very young and my husband was in transferable job so i need to take care of the family so i thought let me push this i have not withdrawn from my motto but i thought let me take some time to handle the other things in the family and get back to my thing and now as uh, my daughter prerna is all grown up and uh, she is working with an organization uh, in ahmedabad so i thought this is the right time wherein i should start by what i wanted to then since 4 years svk shikshan sanstha works with a mission one is sensitizing the society about these issues and about the inclusion and about the need of inclusion right now and second help these intellectually challenged adults lead a dignified life like all of us so these two things are very important for me and when my kids were in school when i met them after uh, 16 17 years i saw them after even some even completed their graduation in computer science with the help of national open school but still sitting at home lacking on social skills and you know withdrawing into the shell that really you know uh, gave me a lot of pain because the parents are the real warriors here right from the child they i mean at the diagnosis of their problem they are the real warriors working hard for the little development of these kids so after so much of hard work when they see nothing had happened so it really uh, i can say uh, get them push them into a kind of depression also many a times because every parent want like as i am also a mother so i definitely wants to see my child first of all happy and settle down in life and lead a dignified life these are very very simple uh, you know wishes of any parent so i have seen the simple wishes of uh, parents scattering down then i thought i really need to do something on the social skills of these kids I mean i consider them i mean i refer them as kids though they are all about 20 years of age jo my uh, foster kids who are uh, as we guys we fondly call all are about uh, 20 years of age so i started a personality development studio and many people even asked me madam personality development inka ho sakta hai kya i will just wait for some time and ask me the same question so i started uh, the personality development studio and designed some modules which can improve their communication skills social skills public behavior and workplace behavior because my ultimate aim is to make them uh, workplace ready or uh, you know make them employable so with this intention i designed the course modules and i'm very fortunate that i have the volunteers trained clinical psychologists trained hr experts who are svk's volunteers they work as professors they even work with tcs like companies in hr department but during their freedom they come down and they train these intellectually challenged beneficiaries of svk section sons or rather my foster kids to face the outside world so this is how we started we trained them they were absolutely industry ready i approached many organizations here but nobody trusted me nor my children nobody was ready to offer any kind of employment they even said madam aapko donations chahiye to hum de denge 
या आपके संस्था के लिए कुछ और चाहिए मांगे हम दे देंगे एंड डॉक्टर श्वेता आई नेवर टेक एनी मॉनिटरी डोनेशन आई टेल पीपल वी डोंट वॉन्ट एनी सिंपति यू गिव देम द वर्क and you tell me how you want them to perform for your organization i'll keep them ready i'll make them ready then it's not like that once you employ i leave this child no they are my own kids so we will be in touch so i'll be interacting with the industry or the organization which are is providing the employed employment accordingly i will be you know monitoring these my children as well but nobody is you know really interested so then i started this uh, yummy grains and uh, i thought let me only take the initiative as i said i'm a fighter right from the childhood so i know what i want and definitely i know how to make it possible so with that intention very luckily i got a very supportive family my brothers my mother and i lost my father when i was just 15 so after that my mother was the you know parent for me the father and mother both and my brothers so and later after getting married even my in-laws and my husband that is the luckiest part i always feel i'm blessed with good family so that's why i could do what i'm doing now so this is how i took it as a challenge i thought of creating a model wherein i can exhibit and tell the outside world that देखिए यही बच्चों को आपने रिजेक्ट किए आज ये बच्चे ये काम कर सकते हैं तो शायद कल आप और इसी तरीका से बच्चों को आप ये काम दे सकते हैं सो दैट दे गेट सम कॉन्फिडेंस इन दीज पीपल सो दैट्स हाउ आई स्टार्टेड दिस यमी ग्रेन एंड अदर रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट्स एंड आर्ट थेरेपी एंड वी कीप ऑन पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन वेरियस एग्जीबिशन ऑफ नागपुर हियर पीपल इन नागपुर आई फील आर यू नो वेरी गुड हार्ट एडवांस so wherever they organize exhibitions they keep inviting us and we have our stall stall is not just to display the products because products are secondary for me display the skills of my intellectually challenged kids is my motto so what i do is i ask i mean i give them the duties 3 to 4 hours because i don't want them to become restless or tired so it's 3 to 4 hours of duty so they be there and they explain about the products to the customer and they're absolutely trained in the pd studio how to greet people how to make your customers feel comfortable and happy and warm with you they know that very well and then they explain about the products how these products are made and later how these products can be used for like millets is a very new thing for many people so they ask me ये मिले से हम क्या बना सकते हैं सो so, मेरे बच्चे इतने ट्रेंड हैं ये बताते हैं इससे आप खिचड़ी बना सकते हैं सब वेजिटेबल्स डाल के बिरयानी बना सकते हैं और उपमा भी बना सकते हैं डोसा भी बना सकते हैं दिस इज हाउ दे आर ट्रेन टू एक्सप्लेन सो आई ऑलवेज कीप द स्टैंड इज ओवर देयर बाई शोइंग द स्टैंड इज द पिक्चर्स डिस्प्ले ऑन द स्टैंड इज दीज पीपल माई किड्स दे एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट्स and how to use them as well so this is the great platform we get wherein i exhibit the skills and talents of these intellectually challenged people employees of our venture i can say and other than that all the sv kites are very popular in nagpur in performing fashion shows so they very confidently walk on the ramp and uh, while they walk on the ramp we just take a moment to explain the audience about that per- particular person what are his or her hobbies as a person how she or uh, he is and uh, i made a sachet which depicts their personality like you know shantanu uh, is a very social guy so he likes to talk to people and uh, you know crack jokes and all so i have a sachet made for him that social be so this is how every child has their own uh, adjective made which suits their personality so while uh, walking on the ramp on, in the first round we uh, try to speak about the child and they very confidently walk they know how to make, keep your chin up and look straight they are trained with eye contact also 
सो दिस इज हाउ एंड मेनी पीपल कम एंड आस मी मैडम ये तो स्पेशल लगते ही नहीं है नहीं है मैं बिल्कुल बोलती हूँ स्पेशल नहीं है दैट्स रियली ग्रेट गायत्री रियली मेक्स मी वेरी हैप्पी Uh, really great and actually i can see the happiness that's feeling when you are explaining your complete story in fact you have answered my two three questions which i was about to ask but that feeling that actual jo aapne kiya hai na wo aapki baaton aapke chehre se bilkul jhalak raha hai do cheeze jo mujhe isse pata chali one there is huge gap between a literacy and a educated person the event you which you exactly. explained about that lawyer defines that huge gap literate means you can only sign your uh, do the sign and write your name education means how you treat people how you treat what is your personality your attitude and that you have well explained with one event which changed your life and second which i found actually very commendable is when no one was ready to employ your kids you started a venture to employ those kids and this is really commendable this only a mother a mother who is either a biological mother or mother of foster mother that feeling should of be a mother should come to start something something like this really commendable so uh, because we are running out so of uh, time gayatri i'll i'll definitely try that we hold this uh, interview again if you allow me to come uh, whenever i'll be visiting nagpur i'll definitely try to Absolutely. visit you you're and, most welcome please and in fact i i'll try uh, in our next show we cover complete your story of your kids uh, show them also that how well they are doing but one last question uh, for my yes. viewers here uh, for all especially for the young girls and women who are watching this because you are doing something which very rare people do right so one piece of advice which you like to give to the women watching out there yeah first of all i always say that respect an individual irrespective of their abilities first of all an individual comes first and every individual has a right to be respected and to lead a very dignified decent life so this is what i always tell people that learn to respect individuals not their abilities thank you so much thank you so much gayatri and i will definitely like to interview you again with your prior permission because this is something i was shaken because i work with many of the girls girl childs in rural india but yes. and i also face lot of challenges but the way the people yes. the the kids you are taking care is commendable and it will be my pleasure if i get again uh, opportunity to work either to work with you or you. just to live one day uh, your life with the, those kids thank you so much for joining our podcast and we will be uh, hoping to see you soon again thank you so thank much guys thank, thank you so much dr shweta thank, thank you thank you, so thank you. Ms Gayatri whom we interviewed today has given us a vision that being self-centered is not an option now being a human working for the society is a right choice to make at the right time so requesting you all after listening this podcast if you want to change something start helping those who actually need your help thank you very much for watching our show thank you jai hind